Hey kids, this is Ivan. How are you doing? I wanted to talk to you a little bit about saving throws. And yes, I know I've done a ton of videos about saving throws, but I just wanted to give you my perspective as of now. I've looked at OD and D. I've looked at the clones of OD and D, and I've you know kind of re-looked at uh, you know, re-examined the saving throws. I really like what Swords and Wizardry has done, you know, has done with the, the concept of the saving throw. And instead of having three or five different classes of saves, they have the save. Your class literally has a number that you're supposed to hit. Um, and everybody gets better um, every single level until it finally tops out. So if you're a fighter, maybe you start at needing a save of 14, and it gets, then it's a 13, and it's a 12, etc. And until you top out at five or six or whatever the heck it is, they they have you do that um, there. I like that um, because it allows the players to experience um, improvement in in the life of the campaign, and it also makes it very simple. Um, and to differentiate the classes from each other, what they've done is really interesting. Clerics just save a little bit better over at poison. I think it's plus two, you know, better than everybody else. And uh, something like a magic user, well, they get a plus two to their magic saves, which makes sense. Thieves get a plus two to any saves involving reflex. So you would think of like magic wands, you know, where you're jumping out of the way, traps. Uh, even, you know, for me, something like fireball, dragon breath, you know, where it's an area of effect, but they're still jumping out of the way. I really like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that entirely, you know, whether it's just going to be one save or whether I'm going to have the five different saves, but just have them all get better over time, uh, faster. Um, either way, I think it works out. You know, it, it, you know, it's it's kind of a six and one half dozen of the other uh, of the other. Whether I'm going to just use that one number and modify it for various threats, or whether I'm just going to have five different numbers, I don't think it really matters at the end of the day. But I, I'm probably going to go with a single number and just say, oh yeah, by the way, you're saving uh, versus a breath weapon, so maybe you'll get a, a negative one or negative two, because that's really hard to save versus, but you're a thief, oh, so you get a plus two to that, so it kind of evens out, something like that. I like it because it's simple, it's elegant, uh, and once again, because it increases uh, or it improves you know, every level over time, it gives the players that you know I'm likely to, to have um, the opportunity to, uh, to experience um, improvement, and uh, that's a good thing, because we want to get better over time, we want our characters to be a little bit cooler. Um, and of course you want them to be able to live. So that's what I'm gonna do with saving throws. I, I, I really, really appreciate uh, the fresh look that Swords and Wizardry gave me because every once in a while, I have to um, take a, um, a step back and realize that I, I'm free to change the rules as long as it feels old school, it is old school. 